It's been rumored that Valve has been creating their own standalone PC VR headset for a while now, and if you're anything like me, you absolutely fell for the hype that was the Valve Prism headset that turned out to be fake. And if you're just finding out it's fake, I'm so sorry. But then I got to thinking, I already own literally everything I would need to make my own standalone PC VR headset. I have the Steam Deck, which is an excellent piece of hardware that's made by Valve, that I really need to get around to reviewing at some point. And then I have the MetaQuest 3, which I did review as an excellent standalone headset. So today I'm bringing you along on my journey to get full PC VR working on my Steam Deck. Now I could script this and do it like a tutorial and just kind of run through all the steps, but that's no fun. I just made a 20 minute tutorial and had it literally emulate everything. So I'm taking it over to the desk and we're doing this entirely unscripted. And um, it's probably good that it's not a tutorial. You probably don't want to do this. Um, this is my desk. Welcome. Enjoy your stay. You probably haven't ever seen this desk unless you're like a real OG fan, in which case thank you because you would remember those two videos I did on the Leapfrog and the Bartasera USB where I filmed them top down. Uh, but today we're doing something a bit different so I figured, you know what, let's crack open a cold one for the occasion. Coke Zero. Oh yeah. This is a VR headset. Uh, you've probably, you probably maybe watched the MetaQuest 3 review. I did a review on this. It's a great headset. Now this is the Steam Deck. I haven't done a review on this, but this is also a fantastic piece of hardware. So today, I'm going to combine the two. I already explained the premise. I, I don't know why I'm saying it again. Hey guys. So I think what my game plan is, I want to do this in Linux if I can, because I despise Windows. Um, that's not charged. I'm going to grab my cool cable. There it is. Oh, you can see my neck beard. Disgusting. That's not the look I'm going for, guys. I promise. Now, I do have Windows on here because I was a Fortnite fiend for a bit. And that doesn't run on SteamOS, but I want to see if I can get it running in SteamOS first. I'm also going to need a USB-C hub because I don't have a keyboard and mouse currently. That's a good... That's good, I think. Okay, well, that's a good sign. It turned on. I need to, like, hot swap this really quickly. Don't turn off, don't turn off, don't turn off, don't turn off. Oh, this is horrendous. I don't watch F1, but I'm probably like really bad at pit stops. I aren't like Ferrari or something really bad. I don't know the teams. Maybe that's a different sport altogether and I have no idea. So this setup isn't janky at all. Keyboard. So SteamOS in the game mode, there is absolutely zero support for VR, which kind of makes sense. So we're going to have to go straight into desktop mode. Okay, I want to run at least Beat Saber. And I want to try Half-Life Alex, and I might try out some other games if I have them. I should have downloaded these before I started. Beat Saber will be easy. While we wait for those, I should also download Steam VR, shouldn't I? Install. I think I've, I've tried this before, but I only had 64 gigs of storage in my Steam Deck. But now I have 512 gigs with 256 on Linux. So I can actually install Steam VR to the Linux partition because it doesn't let you change where it's being installed. So now I can do that. This is fun. So I think... On the Linux side, I'm going to try the native Steam Link client, and then I might also try ALVR to see if that works any better. And if I head over to Windows, I'm going to try Virtual Desktop because that has a lot of performance optimizations and improvements and like settings. Yeah, I'll just try Virtual Desktop. <laughs> I'm not installing Oculus. I cannot be bothered. Oculus is really resource intensive, so. Yeah, probably not great. I really should have downloaded all of this before. I'm going to need to do all of this again on Windows. Let me, I think, first order of business. I'm going to see if I can even get it to work. So I'm just going to try and and bring up the Quest app over here as well. No, why would I be able to do that, you know? Why would that work? Ah, oh, the recording stopped. No, why would it have the metronome? It's almost like it's GarageBand is a music app. Okay, metronome is now off. We're back. It's kind of fun that this is unscripted and like very minimally planned, but it also does make it somewhat more difficult to pull off. Oh, did Steam VR finish? Kinda. It's Steam Link. Oh, I forgot to cast. Well, I pressed the button. Um, it'd be cool if it actually worked. Oh, look at that. Okay, cool. Hey, look at that. Look at my desk. Okay, so now I'm here. Uh, first, I'm gonna try... Oh, do I even have the Steam Link client? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, not installed. This is like a tiny app though, so it should be right. Allow. Steam Deck. It's like the Steam Deck, guys. Well, that's a good, that's a good sign. Okay, well now we have audio. That's really cool, actually. Okay, well I've definitely done everything it's telling me to. I might need to launch Steam VR. Yes. I don't know what my password is. Is that my password? I guess so. That, that's the password. Okay, 
continue. Oh, there it is, Steam Deck. Streaming VR is not available from that computer. Okay, awesome. I also can't click connect from any computer. See, it's running, it's trying to run Steam VR. And it's kind of struggling. Continue, Steam Deck. Okay, Windows time. Oh, no, okay, let me try, let me try ALVR. I'm gonna stop that recording now. And I'm gonna take the headset off. What? So if it, if it wants to make my life easy, ALVR is just gonna be a flat pack that I can just hop in here and download. It probably won't be. Oh, okay, fine. I'm sitting down now, by the way. Um, let's figure this out. Why does it need my wallet? ALVR. I'm on Bing. Other Linux distros, unknown. Lovely. Okay, that's really cool actually. Good to know that it doesn't support Windows XP. That's a shame. Oh, app image. Yes. That's basically a flat pack, I think. I don't remember. Does Steam always have Pipewire? Because apparently that, that means no audio if you don't. I think it uses Pipewire though. So we should have audio working too. Oh, we're downloading at zero bytes a second. That's really cool actually. That's really cool and awesome. Cool, app image. Open, run. I just got two warnings before I, oh, we're, we're running. Okay, let's add the firewall rules. Oh, okay, it failed immediately. That's lovely. Next, next, finish. Okay, that was easy. Now we need to install ALVR on the headset. Let's go back to the Mac. And now we'll need to plug the headset into my MacBook. Let me grab another Type-C cable. Found one. Magnetic lens inserts. Oh, they trying to be Apple Vision Pro. I'm sorry. Please connect straight away. There we go. Love it. ALVR. I'm just gonna do the standard one, not the nightly. Side load. Huh? Okay. 1998, 1934. Confirm. I think that makes me 17 years old. Okay, that one's done. So I can unplug this and we can go back to the casting. I'm sure this looks normal. There we go. Oh, I hit the light. I'm gonna move this like just over to here. I think that's gonna be the easiest way to do things. So now we need to come into unknown sources and go to LVL. And that's gonna make me actually go into my boundary, which is annoying because my Steam Deck's over here and my boundary's over here. So I might just kind of stay half in there. Steam VR's still trying, stop. 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 Okay, Steam, Steam's broken. That's really cool. Oh, there it is. Set as default. Trust. Streamer is restarting. Handshake error. Oh, that would be the, that would be the, um, that would be the, the, um, the, what's it called? The firewall that didn't work. That's cool. That's, that's really cool, actually. So it's just not going to work. Like, is it even trying? Add firewall rules. Why did it fail? Do I need to unlock the... Because SteamOS has like the read-only file system, so I might need to unlock that, potentially. Pseudo SteamOS read-only disable. Yeah, it's that easy. It's already, it's okay. Well, it's already unlocked, apparently. What is happening on my Steam Deck? Okay, let me do, let me Google it. LVR, LVR Steam Deck. It requires compiling LVR from source for Arch Linux. Okay. I'm booting into Windows. <laughs> that is, I am not doing that right now. I'm not doing all that. Okay, so I think course of action, we're gonna go to Windows and then I'm just gonna try virtual desktop straight away. Like I'm not gonna try using the Steam Link client because virtual desktop has so many other options that would make the games perform much nicer. I can't even like, I'm using my phone to record the video. I can't even, like I can browse Twitter on my laptop, I guess. Steam VR has encountered a critical error. Okay, I figured. Oh, and they've both exploded. <laughs> I, I love Linux. Okay. Windies. What the fuck was that? I've clearly installed something I've forgotten about because I don't know what the PowerShell was. Anyway. Oh. Okay. No, that's fair. That's reasonable. Oh, and now it doesn't turn on. Okay. That, that makes sense. Did Windows just brick my Steam Deck? Okay, what if I plug it straight into the wall? Because it might, it might just be the battery. Okay, Windows didn't fully brick my Steam Deck, that's cool. 
Okay, so we're back. The fans, the fans. The fans are going. Okay, yep, first course of action, virtual desktop. I'm gonna install that straight away. I love Microsoft Edge, it's really cool and awesome because Arc won't send me an invite to the Windows version. Josh Miller, hit me up bro. Okay, install, install, next, next, install. So let's install, oh, how much storage do I even have? Cause I, like, it's the big games that are on here. I have 90 gigs left, okay, that's enough for Steam VR, Beat Saber, and Half-Life Alex. So we should be right. Let's download Steam VR first though. So while that's going, I can't do anything. Cause I just put my laptop over there. So now I get to listen to the fans. I can't wait to edit this video. I'm gonna kill myself. Finish. Okay, there we go, there we go. Oculus usernames, he's but VR. Save. Let's bring the MacBook back. Camera, don't go live. You know, went live on Facebook. Installed, virtual desktop. It goes into pass through. Oh, okay, never mind. Is, that, is it that easy? Maybe? It says connected, but it's, it's clearly not connected. I take it back. So I think straight away, potato. I'm a potato. What? I'm a potato. Sorry, um, I just was, well, what, what, potato quality. I, I think I'm just gonna go with 72 frames. The maximum bit rate is 25, so I'm gonna leave it at that. And that should be enough to hopefully get usable performance. So now I'm gonna download Beat Saber. I'm not gonna mod it or anything because I cannot be bothered. We just want it to work. Let's launch Steam VR. Hold up, hold up now, partner. I know you ain't attempting to run virtual desktop without an ethernet cable connected between your router and your PC. Now quit your rubbernecking and go hook that up. Do it. Go on, I'll wait. Excuse me? What did I, what? Huh? Is it gonna keep yelling at me? <laughs> Okay, yes sir. I didn't know it did that. <laughs> I've never used virtual desktop over Wi-Fi. My desktop doesn't have a Wi-Fi card. Where's Steam VR? Cause it's saying it's trying. That's good. Oh, okay, well that's completely unrelated. Fortnite. I'll just put it into pass through. There we go. Big screen. That's fire. Transparency. Who is using this? No way. Oh, oh my lord. <laughs> That's, um, that is certainly performing. That is certainly running a, running a video. Um, okay. Okay, that might be a problem. Okay. Um, I might have just killed it. I hope not. That's not good. I think it's because the battery is low and this is only doing 15 watts. Meanwhile, if I just plug it straight into the wall, that's doing 25, uh, it was doing 25. Now it's not turning on. Um, okay. Oh, it is hot. It is really hot. That is. Oh, okay, we're back. We're back. I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna attempt it without having the dock plugged in, just straight power from the wall, because I don't need the keyboard and mouse anymore because everything's already set up. So I just need to run the games, which I can do through the headset. Now all of this, this is fine. I can just boink, you know, poke at it. Let's try again, I guess. Okay, well, VR desktop's running, so let's give it a shot. See, I hate the quest because I open a pass-through app. This is in pass-through and it's still like, it still needs the boundary. Like if I open it over there, it's not like if I just walk over here, I can see everything and yet it's gonna yell at me because I don't have my boundary set up. What is this? Windows. Let's launch, okay, streaming. Well, that's a much higher bitrate that's available, but I don't wanna crank it. So let's do 20, 72 FPS. Let's turn that off and let's not, oh yeah, switch to half frame rate. Okay, let's allow all that. Let's try it again and hope it doesn't fucking die. I'm on 0% battery. That could be why we're having some issues, boys. Don't get too mad at me. I will address that later. I promise.
Don't yell at me. So now we get to wait for it to boot up, which is the fun part. Okay, here we go again. Hey, you know what? That's a bit better. A bit. Oh, that is terrible. Oh, that is some, that is a use, that is a, that is performance. Let's play, I guess. Let's just see if I can even boot up. This resolution is terrible. Display performance graph, let's turn that on. Oh, oh my God, that is terrible. That is, that is, that is terrible. The controllers just don't feel like they're in the right spot. But like we're in and it's running on deck. Let's do $1.78 on hard. Performance is at the, oh my Lord. That is not running great. Okay, well, it's playing. I'm gonna try turning down some of the settings in here. That doesn't need to be at 4X. Rendering scale, let's have that. Let's turn down the non-VR resolution to like 600 by 800. I'm gonna turn off a lot of these effects. That should hopefully bring up the performance a bit. Nope, I'm gonna turn down the rendering scale to even lower than it already is. I'm gonna turn on video buffering as well. Maybe I'll, I'll turn on the Snapdragon one. Screw it. <laughs> I can barely finish this song on headset, let alone on deck. Oh my. That is some, that is some hefty delay. And it turned off again. Guys, my hopes aren't strong for Half-Life Alex. Okay, I'm doing one more try. My Steam Deck's in there, in that room over there. Okay, so like basically everything I said got a completely, the virtual desktop original soundtrack is so, so loud and it just overpowered every bit of microphone audio. Essentially, I'm doing things differently. I had my Steam Deck plugged into the official power adapter, which I mentioned later. I had to dig up a US to Australian plug. And then I also have it connected over ethernet and the battery was charged before I started. Okay, see, ethernet. I'm on Steam VR. Oh, I uninstalled it, no. <laughs> see that, that's, that's the power, that's, somehow that's Australian internet right there. God forbid I try to upload anything though. See now, I told you guys I was going to address this. My battery is now at 59% and I'm plugged in with the official Steam Deck power adapter. So hopefully this eliminates the chance of it being a battery related issue, uh, which is the reason why it was shutting off Windows. It's the moment of truth. I've been watching TikTok on my phone for maybe 20 minutes at this point, but Steam VR and Beat Saber are downloaded and I don't know how to get rid of it. I figured out how to get rid of the keyboard. Launch Steam VR. I'm hearing connection noises. And disconnect. Okay, well that's a good start. Potato 72 FPS. Wait. Guys, holy shit, this might actually be good. That feels about 10 times better. Screw it. Um, let's, let's see how this goes. I have space warp off and it's running at a, this part at least at a solid 72 frames. That's the target that I have it set as. So I mean, hopefully it just stays like that, eh? All right, we're back. Attempt two. I can already feel the delay in the haptics. Essentially, the audio from the headset game took over still literally everything that I was saying while I was in the headset. Basically, it was a much better experience than before. It didn't shut down after a few minutes and it worked uh, decently well but it still doesn't have any reason for you to play that over just a native uh, headset game. The only thing you might want to do is PC VR exclusive games, but most of those aren't going to be powerful enough to run on the Steam Deck anyway. Uh, well, we tried. I, I personally, I'd say I succeeded in my goal of getting literally, where even is it? I don't even know where I put it. Personally, I say I'd succeeded in my goal of literally getting any form of PC VR to work on my Steam Deck. It's still hot. It's been like 15 minutes since I actually recorded that segment. I succeeded in my goal of getting literally any form of PC VR to run on that thing. Um, but you just saw that it doesn't really work that great. Uh, Valve, come on, man, we need the prism. Let me know if you like that style of video because I really enjoyed making it. Uh, as always, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and basically everything else. And the links for all of those platforms are in the description below. If you like this video, you know what button to hit. If you really like that video, maybe even hit subscribe. If you want some more, you can check out my review of the MetaQuest 3, or you might want to check out how to, again, literally emulate everything on your MacBook. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.